Greetings people, I'm Vince, I release music in the name a Thousand Yard Prayer, among other names. Here is how I put together a track that I released a couple of days ago. Firstly, I got all excited at a new sample library that I just acquired. It's called Era 2 Medieval Legends. I think it's been out for a, a while, but I've only just acquired it. One of the things that made me decide to splash the cash and buy it was hearing a demo of it on YouTube where they played a bass of viola da gamba. I love bassy bowed instruments and I heard this sound and thought I need that for a track. So this was the first piece of music that I made using that very sound just to learn how to use it and see what I could do with it. I'm using Cakewalk as my DAW and I do my initial writing in there and then I transfer it over into a soundscape hard disk recording system. I prefer to play with audio rather than MIDI. Anyway, here's how the viola de gamba sounds in here. As you can hear, very natural acoustic sound. I love it. The same sample library also has some amazing frame drums. I'm a huge fan of frame drums. I use them in most of my tracks. This is some kind of medieval tambourine. It sounds great. Here's the basic tambourine pattern. It's in 7-4 time. The rhythm is called a nawacht. It's an Arabic rhythm. I've added a medieval bowed psaltery, which is just kind of emphasising some of the ones. Here I've brought in an actual drum pattern. It's from a sample set, it's being played by a real drummer. It's got a lovely kind of acoustic, natural, rattly snare sound to it, which I like. I've chopped it up to make it fit this 7-4 pattern, obviously. Here is the viola da gamba, it's a bass viola da gamba. Playing a very simple line. The scale I'm using in the whole track is called Maqam Hijaz, it's an Arabic scale. If you watch films set in the Middle East, any kind of Hollywood film, this is the scale they tend to use because it's got that so-called Arabic sound. I've introduced a bass sound to kind of just connect up the acoustic feel of the whole thing with our usual electronic bass do like to work in the area where the two things meet. Here is some actual dubstep wobble. It's from a VST that I got free with a magazine. And it's doing the job just fine. Here is a flute that's come from another sample library that I already owned, Ancient Era Persia. Very natural sounding, very expressive. Once again, a fairly simple line playing around that Hijaz scale. And then the final element is human vocal. This is what I call a field recording, i.e. an uncleared sample. It's from a live performance, no one's lost a sale. It is someone singing in the Hajaz Makam, so it fits very well with the rest of the track. Once a track's recorded and I've mastered it, not going to show you that, then comes the artwork. In this case, I found an image that suited the feel of the track. I actually paid for it, not very much, but it means it's a fully legal image. I've put it in Photoshop, I've added my text, and there is my cover art. And then the next thing is to upload it initially to Bandcamp, where it's available within seconds. And then I'll use my distributor, shut up, my distributor, DistroKid, to add it to all the other online streaming and download sites and that can take a while. 
in order to get it on Spotify's list, if it's worth the effort, it isn't. You need a few weeks lead time. But what I've been trying to do with all the tracks that I've been doing during this period is I'm putting out individual tracks and releasing them officially about a week apart over the next couple of months. However, they're all instantly available on Bandcamp. I hope you found this interesting. Next time.